they your friends they share your vision and as the phone ring breaks the silence they don't figure out that you I've moved out. He should be dealing with it. It's our hole. Hello, fresh guys. And how can I help you? Hi, yeah. I've been trying to talk to someone about sorting out my boiler. Okay, can you take the details, please? It, it's Mrs. Davis, flat one, Victoria Way. Okay, Mrs. Davis. I'm sorry. I've looked at my system, and there's no repairman until half eight tomorrow morning. Well, sorry, that's really not convenient. I've got two young girls who've got to get to school. I've got to get to work. Is there anything I'm sorry, other... Mrs. Davis. That's all we can do for you. Well, can I speak to a manager, please? I'm sorry. No manager can take your car at the moment. Well, I'll get two bus to bring you on. back. No, no. I'm sorry, Mrs. Davis. Thank you for your car. On. No. Your car is very important to us. Your car is very important to us. Your car. Hello, Mrs. Davis. Hello. I'm ringing from Morgan's for you. And I'm afraid there's a problem with your mortgage this month. What kind of problem? Well, you want no money. You do lost the money. I need the money soon. No, no, I paid the bill. I'm afraid due to insufficient funds, you have not. And we need that money soon. There are serious consequences. What a care. What kind of serious consequences? Very. It's consequences. Hello, hello, hello. Bye now. Hello. Hello, Marcus. Thanks. Hi, yeah. I've just had a call from the mortgage broker and he says there's not enough money in my car to pay the bill. Can I take your details, please? It's Mrs. Davis. That one, Victoria Way. Okay, please hold, Mrs. Davis. Mrs. Davis? Yes. I'm afraid all your money has been removed. What do you mean, all the money? I'm sorry, all your money has gone from your joint account. Well, is my husband allowed to do that? I'm sorry, you you'll have to talk to your husband oh, no, about that. Nothing you can Goodbye. Do Hold on, hello. Hello, Mrs. Davis. Hello. <laughs> Yes, this is Mr. Wilkinson here from a uh, mortgage for you. I'm just ringing to inform you that you have no money in your mouth in your joint account and therefore we'll have to terminate your phone bill with immediate defects. Thank you. Goodbye. Beep. Mum! Time for brownies! Time for brownies! Come on! Inviting all your old uni friends. Oh, it would be really nice to see them. I'll have to speak to Kevin though, Mum. All right, sweetie, you do that. How's the job hunt going? Yeah, it's going all right. I've just been applying for a few call centre jobs at the moment. <laughs> Daddy and I did 
didn't pay for you to go to university so you could work in a call centre, darling. I know, but it's just to get the money for rolling in. <clears throat> well, you make sure that Kevin knows who's boss. You're the intelligent one. I know, yeah, Mum. Anyway, sweetheart, I've got to go. Daddy's quick, hey, pass around. Okay, then, Mum, I'll speak to you later. Speak to you soon. Exactly. Oh, my mum just rang. She wanted me to go down next week, Annie. She's having a garden party. What, for the whole weekend? Uh, yeah. I well, won't go if you don't want me to. Well, I prefer if you didn't, you know. We've got a lot to do. We've got to settle down. We've only just moved in. Yeah, I know. I had to tell her. Thanks. Anyway, would you be able to help me move this stuff into the bedroom? I told her to do that this morning. I know. She's already done that. I know, but I've been on the phone all day. To who exactly? I've been sorting out Sky and wireless internet. Oh really? Is that all you've been sorting out? Yeah. So if you could give us a hand. What are you doing? I'm seeing you've been on the phone to all day. Don't you trust me? <sighs> well, give it back. You've got to come and get it if you want it. Give it back. I'm not going to ask you. Give it back. I'm sorry. You've got to come and get it. <sighs> give it back. Come on, give it back. Oh, I'm speaking. Give it back. Oh, give me the phone back. Give it back. Give me the phone back! Kevin, you really hide me. Thank you. So, uh, tell me, who exactly is this Simon you've been following all day? Why is he so important? What are you going on about? Well, you're following them all day. You haven't been packing. She's, she's just an old friend from uni. It was just seeing how Oh, really? Me. That's Simon from uni? The Simon you went out with before me? What are you going on about? Why are you bringing all this up? I just want to know if I can test you. You can. Promise. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. Sorry, I've had a hard day at work. I'll, I'll make it up to you. I'm going to see him. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I didn't mean to do that! I guess I saw it coming, though. Much rather like Sunny. Mum's eyes and dad, bad habits more like. I swore I'd never be like me. I swore I'd never be that weak. Look, it's a picture. Well, that's my mummy. And that's my daddy. Well, what are you doing? Well, give it back, give it back. Wait. Mum, are you okay? Dad, Dad, not again. Please, no, Dad, get off her. Please, Dad, no, stop it. Dad, please, no! I guess I never had a chance. <laughs>